You know, you can go ahead and open it and I'll eat it. I've never seen a squirrel peel a banana before. <laughs> if I leave my bananas out before I know it, I have a whole bunch of bananas that are not useful for anything because she's tasted them all. We were looking for a baby bird, but we found Mossy clinging to the maple tree in our neighbor's yard. She was wounded because she was just a couple weeks old. She didn't have thick skin on her stomach and it had peeled away. So we grabbed her and took her in. When I got her, my intention was to release her. I was not going to raise her to be a pet, but she became really bonded to me because I'm her mama. <laughs> and then when her tail started to develop with a spiral, she wasn't able to move it the way that wild squirrels can move their tails. Wild squirrels communicate through this flicking motion of their tail. It's dangerous when she can't communicate with another squirrel effectively. We take her to our family chiropractor, even though her tail will likely always stay spiraled. This whole adjustment thing's not so bad if you get snacks, huh, Moss? Anything that she's doing, she's just joyful and happy about it. She's just so silly with a lot of zest. She likes to bake with me, and so the minute she sees the ingredients coming out, she's you know, trying to sample everything, so we call her our quality control. Good. This marble? Come on. Come on over here. Mossy loves to play with marbles. My kids were rolling them back and forth and she started chasing after them. And then she would take them and bury them in the carpet or behind pillows. She likes to play with me, so I'll wrestle with her with my hands. And, and she can create a lot of mischief. She'll hide nuts in some of the most unusual places. She will hide them in my um, shoes. And I'll find nuts hidden in, in my pockets, um, sometimes under my pillow. Gosh, and sometimes she'll bury them in really strange places. Like, that's not going to stay there. <laughs> she buried one inside the toilet paper roll. When she realizes there's something she wants to do, she is relentless. There was this part in the top that opens, and Mossy saw that until a light bulb went off. She, all on her own, found a way to slide it open. Oh, you're so smart. I got a message from a friend who said, hey, this squirrel needs a home. And my husband said yes, so we got Juniper. <laughs> Juniper, she had been attacked by a cat. It was very untrusting at first and very fearful. So it took about a month before she even let me touch her. I call for her, I reach out my hand, and she just jumps right towards me. And she looks beautiful when she does it. She just really glides through the air. She doesn't want to play with Mossy, but Mossy's curious about Juniper. She wants to go make friends with her. So Juniper typically will either run and hide or she just will chill in her hammock. They bring me so much joy. <laughs> I love them. It's enchanting for my kids. The longer she's with me, the more bonded I become to her. I love her more every day, and I couldn't imagine the next 18 years without her. <laughs> and that's how long they're supposed to live. You say hi. Say hello. 